okay. <laughs> you see, right? Um, to make plantations, right, they have to cut down trees, right? And trees belong to Kampong, right? Uh, what, what, does it right? belong to Kampong? Define P-O-I. Because, it would be nice. because <laughs> nature, na, Kampong is more natural. They, they have natural trees and you're cut down to make um, plantations. Okay. Let me see, uh, let's say, okay? You say that the, the land becomes, belongs to Kampong. Land doesn't belong to Kampong. Land belongs to the country, the people. There's no, nobody has say over the P-O-I land. P-O-I or P-O-I? That's, <laughs> that's you so far buy over the land. Thank you. Okay, okay, fine, you got that point, but... <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you actually went out of topic. We are talking about why is Kampong better than the city, not not people, the plantation. Yeah. What? You all cut down trees to build plants and grow your crops and all, right? You cut down trees to build plants? I mean, do... <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Your eyes, sorry, third minute already. Can I just finish this last one? <laughs> no. Continue. One more minute. Oh, one more minute. Okay, a very good example of like Kampong people in contact with nat- nature. Okay, um people learn trees. People in Kampong learn trees by really feeling them, touching them, you feel the leaves. And in cities, right, the so-called education system, they provide textbooks and you learn the trees from the textbook. Isn't learning from the real trees better? (laughs) And I'm sorry to say that um, Kampong people, they play... Um, their hobbies are like catching crickets and city people they play game ball and in that way also the city people are afraid of cockroaches <laughs> time's up okay thank you Wing Soon. last but not least the op- third speaker from opposition team okay, um a very good afternoon to everyone here, the members of the floor. Uh, my next my next point would be, um, city provides a very good infrastructure for all of us. City is well developed, hence, have been well developed, the city can provide the citizens with better infrastructure. Examples like hospitals, schools, stadiums, road systems, p- police station, fire station, shopping malls, supermarkets, 24-7 services. Isn't that convenient, my people? And furthermore, all these infrastructures also come with better services, technology, and equipment. This, therefore, will make um, the lives of city folks more convenient as the accessibility and f- of products and services are very much more efficient. The city's great infrastructure also provides us with a better lifestyle. Okay, like I mentioned earlier, 24-7 services. Let me give you an example. See, in a city, hospitals and clinics are just a block away or very nearby, and you don't need to travel far. Whereas in the kampong, when you need, in a state of emergency, you need medical uh, treatment or when it's really serious, you would have to wait long for help, whereas you have to wait long for help. And who knows, the time to... POI? Yeah, sure. Uh, honorary sir. Um, <coughs> <laughs> Poor much <Matt's kid. laughs> Um I believe these points have already been spoken by the first and second speaker. Uh, so... Are there any other points, or is that all that the... Uh, can, the you, can you allow me to finish like first? No. <laughs> 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 the city... The, uh, the city... I mean, things like accessibility and already have been discussed. Is that all the city ha- is doing? Accessibility and lifestyle? Yeah. Okay, as I was saying, and the time taken, as I was saying, the time taken could cost a person's life, you know, when you the ambulance takes the time to travel here. Okay, my next point would be business and trading. Business, besides having good infrastructure, the city also serves as a business and trading center. For our country, Malaysia, to be fully developed, we need to carry out business and trading. Business and trading is done on a large scale in the city. Offices and headquarters of offices are located mainly in the city. This, therefore, increases the job opportunity 
for the city folks. Even though there might be a dog-to-dog -dog world for jobs, this therefore brings out the potential in people to learn more and to develop their careers, skills, and knowledge. Okay, I'm going to share with you a success story about a guy from about my kampung. Um, he's the one of the top 10 richest men in Malaysia. In my kampung is located in near the borders of Negeri Sembilan and Pahang. I, my dad personally know this, knows this man. His name is none other than Tan Sri Lim Wei Chai. Um, as you know, Malaysia is one of the biggest, largest exporters for rubber, and this city f uh, kampung folk, he came down from a small, and then he built his way up to now producing. Now, have you all heard of the company Top Glove? Top Glove, the largest rubber producing company, in the, uh, gl rubber glove producing company in the world. See, because you come to the city, it offers you the chance to do business and do trading. Whereas in the kampung, you only can do so much so and make so much profit for your own, for your own consumption. Whereas in the city, they give you the opportunity to succeed in life. And with God, we can, we will always succeed. And my, and my last point will be in the industry. The city offers foreign and local companies to set up their factories. The city has set up free trade zone to encourage foreign companies and businesses to set up their companies here. Furthermore, the city also allocates these industrial zones to places where it's far from the housing area to cause less pollution. The industry also provides more job opportunities as large number of workforce is required. Examples, big companies such as Intel, the computer chip company, produce their computer chips in Penang. And local powerhouse company Top Glove, the world's largest glove producer, produces goods in Kapa Selangor. Isn't that in the city? And all in all, the city has been, has been and always will be the leading place for the country's business trading and industry. Of course, the kampung folks play an important role too. But the city is, one, is the one and the city folks are the one who will lead the country to greater heights and it's the time for Asia. <laughs> um, job well done to both teams. Now we will put three minutes on the clock for Okay, for three minutes, you guys will summarize and find one representative to come up and do your summary. This time, no pure eyes will be allowed. So, three minutes. What's the opposition team? Um, back again. Uh, all in all, the city offers uh, better infrastructure, education, um, transport system, and every stuff like that. And it's the leading place for business and trading, and that's where people, uh, you know, I do encourage kampung folks to come to city, you know, and to, you know, we achieve, we work together to achieve one goal. As Sorry, I forgot to announce two minutes. Huh? Two minutes to do your summary. Oh, okay. Sorry, uh, forgot to announce. And last but not least, um, I would uh, end my speech. Thank you. <laughs> okay, from the government team now. Okay, uh, just to summarize all our points, what we're saying is that living in the kampong better than the city. Why? Because of a lifestyle that is much more relaxing. It is much more um, self self motivated. You, it's much healthier. Uh, you live on off fresh produce, off your own thing, off your own um, work, and then. Um, Family units, they are much closer. You have a close-knit family unit. And then, um, just to say that um, I think the opposition party also might have just helped our cause because um, I believe one of the speakers said some success stories, um, if I'm not mistaken, Tan Sri Lim Wei Chai. Is that his name? <laughs> What's <laughs> but anyway, the Tan Sri, our, our brother was talking about, was from the kampong. <laughs> was from the kampong. <laughs> so these are success stories. And I believe we've seen many videos as well of farmers who have been success stories. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, and anyway, yeah. So basically living in the kampong is definitely, 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 definitely much better than living in the city. We rest our case. <laughs> Alright, that's a wrap. Thank you everyone.